blank spaces on a map have always excited me. You can stare at a map for hours until you've drank from its streams, traversed its valleys, or conquered its peaks. That blank space will remain just that. I've spent a large portion of my life dedicated to backcountry adventures. The pursuit of game has taken me to some of the wildest places on earth. Every step, every mile, tells a story and no two journeys are the same. I work hard and push myself to be able to go further and deeper every time. But sometimes my own two legs aren't enough, and in my lifetime I've had the pleasure of taking a myriad of pack animals on some life-changing adventures. I've ridden horses in the untamed wilds of British Columbia, saddled llamas for a backcountry hunt in my home state, and I've even hunted with pack mules. With 20 plus years of Western hunting experience, I consider myself well-versed on pack animals. Each animal has their merits, but I've never met one that truly fulfilled all of my needs in every situation. At least, not until I got packing ponies. A lot of people see my ponies and they're shocked. Honestly, it's because they didn't think of it first. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Pack and Pony Ranch. I'm so excited to be able to share with you three of my star ponies. When I heard about Adam and his pack ponies, to be honest with you, it upset me at first. I was like 3,000 years of breeding mules and we're going to pack ponies. What's hanging me up on this pony project, Adam's, is the tack. It's very different. I've known Adam for quite a long time and uh, it's not the sharpest tool in the shed, if you know what I'm talking about. But this, genius. Dude, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. He's using pack ponies. It's yeah. totally legit. It's gonna completely change how the game is played from here on out. That's uh, interesting, to be sure. It started out as a simple experiment. I took everything I knew about making firearms. You gotta have a quality design, the team in place, premium materials. I mean, when I went out to look for the perfect pack animal, when I saw the pony, I'm like, it's it. I mean, they're incredibly sure-footed. I mean, you could pack a ton of them into a trailer. They require less food. It was a no-brainer. This here is Lightning. Lightning is my lead pony, the best packing pony there is. And this is the food we bring up there. Custom uh, backcountry pony food. It'll last about 30 days. Of course, there were some growing pains. Here we go, little guy. Come here. Whoa, just gonna get this pack on you, okay? Just gonna, you ready? Yeah, okay. Uh-huh, I got you, bud. Well, who would have known there's a pecking order with ponies? But once I found that out, I just made sure I let them know I was the alpha male of this pack. But once Lightning accepted me as the leader, all the others just fell in line. All right, come on, Lightning. Oh, look, they're following you, buddy. Over here, we got uh, Titan and Colossus, my twins. They'll pack several times their weight. They're like ants. Like, you just keep packing stuff on them. These guys are absolutely amazing. Ponies are incredible. They can carry 14 times their body weight. They can read. They've even been known to fight off grizzlies. Yeah, he says that, but I don't think that's true. The more time I spent with these ponies, the more our bond grew. And then I realized something. I was born to do this. You probably all wonder why I've called you in here. It's been a long run, 77 years in the family. But effective immediately, I quit to pursue my passion of packing ponies. Leaving the business. That's a bold move. I can confidently say this packing pony endeavor has been the easiest decision of my life. Brenda took it as a shock at first, but I think she's coming around. 25 years. Don't you think he would be able to tell me some of his plans? The problem is, I didn't have any money to start this business. 
But fortunately, we'd loaded more ammo at Weatherby last year than we ever have before. So I thought, we don't need these big commercial ammo loaders I just bought. So I made this deal. I got rid of them. I mean, it's a big risk, but I believe in what I'm doing. Hey, Lightning, we got camp right here. Those elk are up over on this ridge here. We're gonna head down in this valley, see if we can see them cross canyon and go get them. Okay, what do you think? Huh? Yeah? Let's go get them. Let's go get those elk. So, how has the business been going? Well, to be frank, the business has been off to a slower start than I expected, but I mean, I just gotta get the word out there. And I think eventually, it's gonna take off because this is what I was born to do. When I saw it, when I saw the pictures, and saw him interacting with these animals, I, I thought, man, I think I've been wasting my life. I think we've wasted 3,000 years. I'm Adam Weatherby, and I'm a first-generation pony packer. I think he's f***ing insane.